had a comment about how often I actually sharpen my uh, draw knife and truth be known I haven't probably sharpened it in a year um, whenever I need something sharpened I usually take it up to my neighbor's house because he can sharpen a blade that is not only sharp but will last a while and so that's what I normally do when my blades not an emergency I've I've got a grinder in there that or a belt grinder that I can actually run on it but uh, he's got much better equipment so that's the reason that I take it up there See something funny? Watch this. You want to go to the creek? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Let's go. Go. Come on, let's go. This is actually the first day that I've taken them to the creek after it's snowed. So, they're beside, they're beside themselves. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. 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 Behind me here, this is actually the load of logs that I got for a hundred dollars. Uh, they're really good sized logs, so they're going to go a long way in uh, getting the floor flooring or foundation ready for the buildings. But uh, yeah, he said that he had um, probably three or four more loads, so I'm looking forward to being able to pick those up for a hundred dollars a piece any day, every day, all day long. We're busy tracking right now. They've only been in the creek a time or two. All right, let's go. Here we go.
trick is to try and hold it yourself and cut it.
I actually cut several of these because uh, this last one, this last section, first one took eight, this last section took nine because when I'm laying these out, I'm laying them on one foot centers, I'm not going from the post. So that it will kind of uh, look like I halfway did something right. But uh, anyway, now I went ahead and cut extra. I don't think I have enough to do the next section, but while I was there, I cut that one limb off. I've also had some comments that people say for some odd reason that it is somewhat relaxing and satisfying to watch me peel the bark off of the wood. Now. I'm sure it's a lot more satisfying watching it than it is doing it. No, I'm just teasing. Um, no, it is. It is fun to uh, work on these. Maybe not when you have so many. But, as you guys have been following along, there's quite a little process in actually building one like this because you got to go uh, select your material, you got to cut your material, you got to prep your material, you got to measure it and cut it again, and then you got to figure out, well, before that, you got to figure out how it's going to stand or lay, and uh, then you have to measure and cut, and probably measure and cut a couple more times in order to get it to fit correctly. But, once you do a project like that, there probably won't be another one like it. Because it, even if somebody copied it, they probably won't have the same curves you do.
Well, I actually got um, 10 of those ready to go, but I'm not going to start anything tonight. I'll actually wait until um, tomorrow because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, that next section, that bottom one's a little bit thin on one side where I notched it into the post. So I think what I'm going to do is um, cut up another one and use that one on the end because it's larger than the two that I had saved that were already cut and I kind of like the, the bulk look better. So I think that's where I'll start tomorrow. I'll get that post out, skin it, put it on the sawmill, cut it, and then we'll see if we can put those um, spindles in that next section. Guys, we certainly hope that you enjoyed that video. My son, my daughter, and I, we really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us up here at the cabin while we're working on the homestead. Um, be sure and stay tuned because we have uh, more of the handrail work going on. We've got the kitchen shelving that we're working on. I'm going to try to get that installed where I can get some things up off of the floor. Now, I'll probably move into the bathroom shelving after that to help, you know, like I say, get things up to where... Um, I, I actually have room to move around. But anyway, if you're new here to this channel, be sure and go check out Outpost Review. That's behind the scenes blog on what's going on up here. So again, guys, we hope that each and every one of you have a great afternoon. Everybody take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.